Hi, I'm Nathan of Guardian, here to give you a quick walkthrough of the latest Orbot Tor for Android. We've just released version 9, or if you follow the build numbers, 0.2.3.17-beta 0.1.0.9 RC5A. What this means is that we have Orbot's uh, ninth release of the first uh, major version, and it includes Tor's latest release, 2.3.17 beta, and all of these things together make Orbot, which is an application that allows you to enable um, circumvention and anonymity capabilities on your device by providing a proxy, a strong proxy that allows multiple hops and a variety of other features. So Orbot itself is an application that you can install on Google Play. Hopefully you already have it if you're watching this. And if not, you can go to Google Play or the Tor website to download it. And it includes Orbot, which is the graphical application for controlling Tor, the Tor binary, a Privoxy, which is a proxy server that connects into Tor, as well as new features such as the obfuscating proxy capability to help um, Tor not get blocked in certain networks and countries. If you look at the new wizard, there's also the ability to run Tor in many different languages, and you can directly control the language that Tor appears in, even if your phone is set to a different one. So I can be in English, but perhaps set my phone to Arabic or Chinese. Tor also can detect if your device has root or super user capability or not. If you have super user capability, um, you can do things like automatically choose the set of apps you want to run through Tor. However, it's important to note that um, root or super user is not required at all. And what's exciting is we have uh, a number of applications that are ready to work on any phone with Orbot. And these include OrWeb, which is a, a simple browser for access to content in a safe manner. Jibberbot, which is our secure chat application. Um, in addition, you can use Twitter, which has proxy settings, the actual official Twitter app. Duck, DuckGo's search engine application. And Firefox as well with the proxy mobile add-on. So the wizard will walk you through these different options. And once you're ready to go, you just press the big button and it'll connect. An exciting new feature of this release and, and, and Tor's 0.2.3 release is the use of microdescriptors, which means more efficient, um, compact data transfer when you're getting information about how the Tor network is configured. So once you get the green color, this means you're now connected. And if you want to verify your connection, you should select to use the check option in the menu. You'll press menu, choose check, and it'll open your browser of your choice to the check.tor project website site to verify that you're connected to Tor. So in my case, I have a rooted super user device and it's connected and I can see the success message. If you're not on root, you should use the OrWeb browser as the browser you, you use to connect to Tor. This release represents a big improvement in terms of the way we build um, Orbot and Tor, and it should be more efficient and faster, more compact, and just general, generally better performance across the board. So we're really excited about it. We know there's still some rough edges, and we're working on improving those. And in fact, with our next major release, V10, or we may even call it Orbot 2.0, we're looking at a big visual overhaul and, and, and improvement in, in usability, um, as well as updates to continue to support the growth of Android 4-based um, releases. So thanks a lot for checking this out. Please install this from Google Play, the Guardian website, Tor Project website, um, and uh, keep your feedback coming in the com comments or report issues through our official bug trackers on Guardian Project. Thank you, and uh, careful out there. <laughs>